I'm Major Will Grafe, Thunderbird 2, left wing pilot. It's an interesting story for myself. Uh, never had aspirations of joining the military per se, didn't really have too much family that were in the military. Both grandfathers were in World War II, and then I have an uncle and a cousin that were in the Navy. I went into college initially to be a doctor. Obviously that did not pan out for me. Uh, so my backup plan was kind of thinking FBI, CIA, things like that, because you know, I used to love the J uh, Jason Bourne movies and all those cool CIA movies, uh, 007. It was, those were all my heroes growing up. So I thought that was, a, that was a good backup plan, but I had no skill sets or no experience really to fall back on to, for my application process for that. So I figured military background would be pretty good. Most of those guys generally have military background. And so when I was looking through the, the, the book in college for ROTC programs, I saw Air Force ROTC. I remembered back when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, and my uncle used to own a little four-seat uh, Cessna plane. Let me fly it a couple times, and I loved to fly. I loved uh, that flying. I loved airline flying. So I just figured, let's check out the Air Force. Even though I didn't really have aspirations of being a pilot, I just figured I loved to fly. Air Force was a lot of flying, so uh, give it a shot. And then uh, the rest is history. I just kind of fell in love with it, fell in love with the people, fell in love with the leadership, the followership, uh, and just the whole camaraderie piece of, uh, of the military that is. Uh, no, we try, to, we try to stay healthy on the team. So if I can eat some salads or some fruits and veggies uh, to keep myself fitting in that nice tight uniform, then uh, that's always a, a plus. Uh, I like protein bars, quick, easy snacks. Those are always nice. I'm a big uh, sweet tooth guy, so I, I love my chocolate. Gotta have some chocolate here and there to, to keep that uh, caffeine level, keep that energy level high, since I don't drink coffee or anything like that. But, but yeah, I try to strive to stay as healthy, healthy as I can, and sometimes you don't get that opportunity on the road. difficult decision. A lot of the aspects of this job are, are very enjoyable and very rewarding. But I think one of the most uh, rewarding uh, and enjoyable things are also the most challenging, which is uh, going out and visiting the children's hospitals, as well as the Make-A-Wish kids that come and visit us on our Friday practices. Obviously it's challenging the aspect that you see these kids, you know that they're struggling, you know that their family is struggling. Um, and that there's nothing you can necessarily do for them uh, on the medical side. Uh, but it's rewarding in the fact that when they see you, they an in instant smile on their face. Uh, I don't consider myself anyone special. You know, being on this team, being, I think it's the uniform that, uh, that they get the smile from and, and just kind of the, the aspect of us being a Thunderbird, but me individually, I'm, I'm no more different than anyone else out there. So it's kind of special to me when I see these kids and I'm able to interact with them and, and hopefully just make their day that much better. And it's not only rewarding, but it's also inspiring. I always walk away from those interactions humbled and inspired because despite what they're going through, despite what their family's going through, they are just in the moment. They're super positive, they're super optimistic and happy. Uh, and just want to talk to you and want to have a good time and want to laugh. And it's just, it's, it means a lot when you can sit there and look at these people and know that they're really struggling and yet they can still put a smile on their face and still be just as happy as everyone else out there. And it really puts things into perspective. And, and I think that's what I'll take away most from being on this team.